Since the birth of mankind, humans have strived to leave a fingerprint on the face of the earth by changing the natural world into an artificial one. Although humanity has its feet in the physical and electronic media, Convergence is pushing our technology towards a reality-altering computer content existence, or race. Reality-altering computer content is a medium that can be broken down into multiple categories, most of which have been yet to be made. Alas, race is commonly associated with two mediums. Augmented reality and virtual reality. Augmented reality is the interaction of superimposed graphics, audio, and other sense enhancements over the real world environment that is displayed in real time. Instead of replacing reality, augmented reality adds cues onto already existing real world. Computer graphics are embedded into a real world and ideally the human mind would not be able to tell the difference between computer generated images and the real world. This can take various forms. For example, handheld displays are track devices that can be held in the hands and do not require precise alignment with the eyes. In fact, the head is rarely tracked for handheld displays. Handheld augmented reality, also called indirect augmented reality, has recently become popular due to the ease of access of smartphones and tablets. In addition, system requirements are less since viewing and indirect rendering is independent of the user's head and eyes. Michio Kaku, futurist and scientific communicator, also a renowned American theoretical physicist and popularizer of science, Kaku has written several books about physics and related topics and has the following to say about the future of augmented reality. The future, the internet is going to be in our contact lens. And when the internet is in our contact lens, you blink and you will go online. And if you meet somebody at a meeting, a conference, or a classroom, and you don't know who they are, your glasses will identify who they are and print out their biography in your contact lens so you will always know who you are talking to. At a cocktail party, you will always know who to suck up to if you're looking for a job. And if the person is speaking Chinese, no problem. Your contact lens will translate what the person is saying even as they speak. Now you've seen this before in the movie The Terminator. Remember the Terminator movie? He lived in what is called augmented reality. Now, virtual reality, hey, that's for children, that's for kids, that's for gaming, it's a lot of fun, I do it. However, augmented reality is for adults who want to interact with people, but who want to know who they are. They want to know what they are saying if they're speaking in a different language. And if you think about it, this is going to change commerce, tourism, it's going to change the way we live. So networking today has limitations, distance, language, those barriers are going to fall once we have the, the internet. So what is virtual reality? Answering what is virtual reality in technical terms is straightforward. Virtual reality is a term used to describe a three-dimensional computer-generated environment which can be explored and interacted with by a person. That person becomes part of the virtual world or is immersed in an environment while there is able to manipulate objects or perform a series of actions. The person wears a head-mounted display, or HMD. Some systems enable people to experience additional sensory input, such as sound and video, to contribute to their overall experience. While augmented reality is based on peripheral interaction and multitasking capabilities, virtual reality is built upon total immersion within the physical, being its main component. Virtual reality is normally used with joysticks, motion track suits and gloves, controllers, and even treadmills. Displays may take many forms, such as stand a standard monitor. Displaying surfaces are typically flat surfaces, although more complex shapes can be used if those shapes are well-defined or known. A reality-altering computer content existence. The difference between virtual and augmented reality is not often well-defined. True virtual reality completely blocks out the real world, whereas augmented reality adds to the already existing real world. Sometimes these forms that are somewhere between virtual and augmented reality are defined by other terms. For example, Mixed reality is a mix of digital model of the real world combined with computer-generated models. In a nutshell, race is a multi-sensory experience which can stimulate or even alter perception of reality. The full range of possibilities that race are yet to be imagined. Augmented and virtual reality are used in a full spectrum of activities ranging from entertainment to social and business-orientated needs. Business-wise, race can be used for virtual tours of business environment, training of new employees, a 360-degree view of a product, and immersive marketing. Several examples include the following. Volkswagen, to promote its electric golf to people in Hong Kong, Volkswagen created its electric cafe, which, instead of just explaining the product, they let participants find out themselves through augmented reality games and infographics. Another example of this is Starbucks Cup Magic for Valentine's Day that has allowed users to create their own augmented video message on top of the physical world. The company ASOS use augmented smartphone technology to provide interactive display with retail customers 
that could rotate clothing models and open up extensive information pertaining to the brand, clothes, and style. Similar to the company Goertz in Germany, which used Microsoft Connect augmented software to let people try out shoes in real time. Military utilization of augmented and virtual reality have been used for flight simulation, battlefield simulation, vehicle simulation, medic training, and virtual boot camp. RIS is used in the arts for virtual museums, interactive exhibitions, galleries, interactive performances, virtual theme parks, and many, many more. One example is BBC's Frozen Planet, which reached locals in New Jersey, Illinois, and California, treating them to an augmented reality, in which placed them in the heart of polar regions where they could interact with some of the virtual wildlife, like penguins, polar bears, and whales. In entertainment and game, the gaming community has been quite familiar with Brace for years. Consoles have had their feet wet with multiple accessories like PlayStation I and Microsoft Connect, while portable augmented devices such as Nintendo DS and PlayStation Vita still dominate the interactive market. Currently, two main contenders are ushering in the new era of virtual reality, the Oculus Rift and Sony's Morpheus, both of which are prototypes. Oculus VR, maker of the Oculus Rift virtual reality headset, was recently purchased by Facebook for $2 billion. One can obtain an Oculus Rift headset by signing up as a developer and paying $350. As big companies such as Sony, Google, and Facebook push forward into race, a new fully developed medium will change the planet as much as written word. Techno Society's attempt to seamlessly fuse the freedom of limitless, virtual, artificial space into the day-to-day -day perceivable reality will not only pop the bubble of reality we live in, but pierce the veil of our own society, who we are, and how we interact. Although humanity has planted its feet in physical and electronic media, Convergence is pushing our technology towards reality-altering computer content existence. Today, as more platforms and more developers continue to grow, in conjunction with Moore's Law, it brings forth the question, how soon until virtual reality is interlaced into our lives? How will it be when putting on glasses or contacts can open down the door to the rabbit hole? To a place that is just as real as radio waves we perceive in our cars and homes. What is the reality when altering our perception in the future can be as simple as a blink of an eye.